So today, before beginning, like this kind of content, make sure you're subbed to the channel. Enjoy the video, find it informative, well, you know the drill, like comment, share it with other people, help the channel grow that way. Want to help out the channel in different ways? Well, because this kind of stuff isn't friendly to certain folks out there? Well, make sure you check out the links in the description. One of those is the case of the Little List Umbrella. This is our initial foray into independent comics, and it's also one powerful message. We don't have to lockstep with any gatekeeper out there. Plenty of people tried to stop us. Plenty of people have tried to do crazy stuff. But you know what? We just keep going, and we just keep going stronger. So if you want to hear more on that, check out the end of the video. So today, I want to return to something. I want to return to something we have talked about in gaming, we have talked about in anime, we have talked about in entertainment culture, and more. This is accusation equaling substantiation. So hey there, so today we are talking about opera singer here. And today we are talking about how this person, they had their life wrecked over accusations. They've had money dropped, they've had places drop them, and now they're put under investigation. Do you see a problem with that? You have people that come forward, they point the finger at someone, virtually tarring and feathering them, and in the aftermath, you finally have people come forward and say, hey, maybe we'll look into this. What's interesting about this is how this works, too, and how it's worked over and over again in other places. I mean, for example, if you look at gaming currently, and you look at what transpired with Zoe Quinn, this, too, I will put a video out. It'll probably come out before this, but it shows showcases how the person that's the quote-unquote victim in this is not the person that went out and harmed themselves and ended their life because of it. No, it's the person that throws out the accusation. Doesn't matter whether you've actually been found guilty of anything because, again, accusation in the court of public opinion equals substantiation equals, hey, if you go out and you do something horrible to yourself, well, that's not their fault, is it? All of this stuff, too, is predicated on a specific hashtag out there. You see it here, talked about in gaming. You can look forward and see it also in anime. As people talk about it and people, they become victims without ever actually having to materialize anything save accusation. I mean, do you see a problem with that? Hey, you know, over the past 20 years, this person has done X, Y, and Z to me. Well, do you have any proof of that? No, I don't have any proof of it. I didn't think I would ever want it. In fact, it wasn't a problem until just this year when I decided to pull the trigger on it because of, oh, you fill in the blank. And again, notice a specific hashtag that's added to that to basically work as a calling card to say, hey, these people, they are definitely guilty. In fact, that's the way that it's uh, advertised too. When you have defense lawyers talk about this, talking about it during the summer, they say, this case is something I wake up thinking about and it's uh, the last thing I think about when I go to bed. I too, being a woman, and a woman lawyer, this hits me particularly hard because I have experiences too. I know there is too often silence, so to be able to support and help get women out there to talk about what they have been going through is important to me. Now, it's interesting there. What if people were to talk about the, on the other side? What if they were to talk about the false accusations and what they do to them? Oh, that wouldn't be something that places like this would want to pick up because it wouldn't fit this certain formula. In fact, as we move forward, it becomes easier and easier to showcase something like this instead of actually saying, hey, we have a setup. We actually have laws in place. What happened to due process? Social media, it has become the way that people burn down life after life, too. I mean, if you look this person up, if you look up articles out there, you know what you find right off the bat? You find things that talk about, well, specific types of abuse. You don't find things out about them opening up for concerts. You don't find anything out about their career. You find out about allegations that are spread, and they're spread like they are proof. Therefore, you have to go in in the public eye and prove that you are not guilty of something. Does that sound kind of crazy to you? Because when I watch this play out again and again, it absolutely does to me. I mean, we find 
find out over and over again, too, that things, they are not the way that they've seen. I mean, we have found out that there have been court cases with certain other voice actors. When you look at them, it was actually a nasty marriage that actually brought something to light. It wasn't something that happened, but rather it was a way to try to gain control and ruin somebody. Or it's people trying to maneuver or other things. There's these things over and over again. And of course, this person is denied their voice in all of this. When you look at how this happens and the impact, too, you see it here. You know, you have the concert featured opens low in the wake of allegations. So you're talking about actual impact hit in the pocket here. I mean, looking at this, Phantom Events continued with a special screening of, on September 7th, despite allegations of misconduct against the iconic opera singer. As a result, the special events screening premiered on 284 theaters with a low debut, earning an estimated $80,295, which amounts to a disappointing $283 per screen. Now, similar special screenings from uh, Phantom Events trend to uh, perform, well, specifically live broadcasts of the Metropolitan Opera. Of the 73 event screenings, this concert pick was one of the lowest from Phantom. The uh, concert pick was uh, filmed live on August 4th at, so it goes through that. According to the AP, the American Guild of Music Artists is investigating all the allegations brought up. This was launched as a result of two AP stories where multiple women accused the person of inappropriate behavior. Take this article, for example. I mean, look at the title right off the bat. Allegations against. So you have the name of the person there. Prove. It proves that this is everywhere. This type of harassment exists because accusation equals substantiation. All you need to prove that it exists is for people to go out and launch something at someone. Are we even surprised? It goes on. Of course you shouldn't be surprised if that is the bar you set. And that, again, they have circumvented legal and due process by utilizing this message to judge people first to burn them down first, and then to find out what happened in the aftermath. You see how this comes together, too, where it's talking about it, and it talks about accusations. And it says here that this, it showcases how these issues are symptomatic of how men in power, especially older men in power, accustomed to outmoded standards for behavior, they treat women. So, of course, he's guilty right off the bat. Now, he says, I believe that all of my interactions and relations were always welcome and consensual, which they highly doubt. They've already judged the person without knowing anything, if all the allegations are true. But his viewpoint highlights a larger problem in the culture of it's antiquated and it's istas. So, you see that come together. You see this notion coming together, and it says plenty about how this is viewed. It shows you how this kind of cancel culture, it's getting louder. It's becoming more dangerous because, again, all it takes is someone to call you something terrible out there. And, well, right now, we're dealing with some of the worst accusations present. I mean, you see people weaponizing this accusation. You see people weaponizing a four-little word. P to the E to the D to the O. They throw all of that out there, and they bury people under it. And that that has to change. Again, does that mean that people are innocent? Well, yeah, it does until they have due process. If they're not afforded that, well, we have problems. We have huge ones. And, well, people like yourself, myself, we need to speak up about it. But anyway, you tell me what you think about this stuff. So if you like this kind of content, make sure that you're subbed. Make sure that you hit that bell for daily notifications. And if you want to help the channel out in different ways, well, we could talk about the comic book for a second. This is the case of the Littlest Umbrella. All ages love crafty and tell, plus it has two other stories attached to it now. There are two comic books that are associated with this thing, too. If you go down to the second tier here, you'll notice that there's two comic books. One of them actually satirizes some of the craziness that's happened in comics. I think you'll enjoy that, too. So again, check this out if it sounds like something you'd want to see. Plus, it sends its own message saying that, hey, all of 
these people out here, these businesses that will burn you down in a heartbeat, well, yeah, you can go out, you can circumvent that by doing your own thing. So let me know what you think about this stuff. Pro and con, you don't have to agree with me on what I said there, but I really want people to think about due process. If you are not afforded it, if people deny that from you, you would definitely see the problem there. So why don't people see that when it happens to others? Also, ending, I want to say, while companies, they keep forgetting who's their consumer, who exactly matters out there, I want to thank you. I appreciate you showing up. I appreciate you empowering these endeavors. And thank you again. We'll be doing it again soon.